Hello friends, my name is Panasyuk, and I'm on a deserted island, testing myself in survival conditions. I also set myself a challenge to stay on this island until my channel reaches 1 million subscribers. But the most attentive viewers of my channel already have some more information about it. But let's avoid spoilers. It's the ninth day on the deserted island. Good morning, friends. Just look at this beauty. So, friends, there was a light rain last night and I managed to collect more water in cups. I'm using this technological filter for hikes. And I'm going to try drinking rainwater through this filter. Tastes like clean, good water. No strange smell or taste. Everything's fine. I'll pour this water and then boil it. And I'll hang the bottle back. Let some more fresh water accumulate. Despite my small strategic food and fresh water reserve, my main task is to maximize the use of the island's resources and to use my reserve only in the most extreme case. So, despite this, I always need to look for food for myself and also replenish the source of fresh water. So there's less garbage. And I'll hang this back. Let it accumulate. I understood that every day on this island is a new and very important experience for me. In any case, I tried not to waste time. And also, thanks to your likes under the video, I received additional missions. And the more likes there were under the video, the more difficult and interesting the mission was. For 18,000 likes, I had to catch a barracuda, and I managed with this mission. Then you reached 21,000 likes, and I had to catch a stingray. And in the previous episode, I managed to complete a new additional mission, namely, to catch a real shark. But despite this, I still have an unfinished mission. Namely, to catch prey using traps from AliExpress. So until my power banks, spare batteries and cameras are not discharged yet, I will try to complete this mission. Friends, Every time on every deserted island, I unpack a new package from AliExpress, which is intended for survival. Let's open it and see together what's inside. This is a trap for crabs. For crabs, shrimp. It unzips, just like that. And then it simply folds, just like that. The mesh is similar to the material of umbrella traps. So I know that this material is not very reliable, but here the mesh is larger. That means the sail of the trap underwater will be smaller than that of the umbrella trap. And this means that the currents and waves will be less likely to carry away this trap. I'll try to place it on the rocks and catch crabs. But first of all, you need to catch bait for this. Folding and unfolding is interesting, friends. But I adhere to the logic that the more elements, the more complicated the trap, the less reliable it is. In the previous trap that I unpacked, like a peak, just a steel spring, a large powerful mesh, this is much more reliable than this design. I'm sure, we'll see. In any case, a new unpacking, Let's try to catch something with the help of these traps too. Why not?
Honestly, they don't inspire confidence in me at all. They look very unreliable, but nevertheless, since unpacked, you need to use them and try to catch something with their help. I have leftovers of Stingray. I divided these leftovers into three parts. One part into this trap. The second part into the second trap, the same. I'll put one for the crab near the mangrove bushes in the water. The second one I'll put near the mangrove bushes on the rocks, that is on the shore. And the third part of the bait I'll put in the trap like a peak. And I'll put it in the rocks at the depth in the coral reef. Let's see if any of these traps will work. I'm a little doubtful about the bait, of course. Grilled stingray like this. Half raw, half grilled in some places. Well, maybe it will work for a crab, for a shrimp. If it doesn't work, parallelly, I'll try to catch fresh raw fish with a spear. Cut it up and add it to these traps. Well, let's go. but I've never seen anything like this before. A trap that closes with a zipper. Oh, darn. Let's go set it up. Now I need to find a good spot to hide my traps. To ensure the trap floats on the waves without drifting, I'm weighting it down with some rocks. I placed the first trap near a mangrove bush. There's a lot of small fish swimming around this area. And stingrays hide here too. Maybe some resident of these mangrove bushes will swim into my trap. As for the second trap, I placed it on the opposite side of the mangrove bush. Not in the water, but on land. That's where the crab should be. So, both traps are set for crabs now. Now, there's one more trap left, like a pinnacle. I'll take it and dive into the rocks under the coral reef. I'll set it up along with the remains of the stingray. Let's see if any moray eels, sea crabs, lobsters, or shrimp swim in. Or maybe this branch. Or this one poke me in the eye. Wish me luck. I set myself the challenge to stay on the island until my channel reaches 1 million subscribers. I didn't think it would take so long and be so difficult. When I recorded these video messages to you, I still believed I could stay connected. And I really wanted to live stream straight from the uninhabited island. But the internet had other plans. So I kept filming and tried to complete those additional missions you've already chosen for me. Look up there on the top of the cliff. There's a huge, simply gigantic eagle perched on a rock. It heard and decided to show itself to you. This stingray tail looks like a pig's tail in some way. But not in taste. Stingray is very tasty. Very tasty. Rich, tender meat. Just right. 
Oh, and smoke too. You know, when the dish cools down, the smell of smoke becomes more pronounced. I've always said that when you smoke fish, it's tastier when it's not hot. It's still tasty when it's hot too, but I prefer it when it's cooled down. It's more smoky then. You feel the smoke better. That's why I like it when the fish has cooled down. Towards evening, I decided to go fishing. Took my fishing rod, a few of the most productive lures, and headed to the rocks, to the place where I had the most bites. So my friends, a force majeure happened to me here. It's the end of my flip-flop. And without a flip-flop, I won't be able to walk or fish at all. Very sharp stones. And if a fish bites, I won't be able to stand on those sharp oysters at all. So here's a life hack. Take a flip-flop and put a sock on top of the flip-flop. A Jordan sock so it'll hold. How I regret my socks. But I have no choice. Friends, I can't walk without shoes. Look how brand new it is. What's this one? What's this one? A cannon. I feel like tonight won't be peaceful either. Clouds are gathering over there. There'll definitely be a downpour. Look over there. The mountains and volcanoes are covered with storm clouds, and you can see it's already raining there. Probably it'll rain here too soon. Oh yes, wow, it's a wild fish. Looks like it's about speed, like a barracuda. I crouched because it's hard to stand on my feet. Corals, corals, reefs, there are rocks there. There are rocks, I know, I know there are rocks there. It wants to hide in the rocks, but no, no, no. There, there are big rocks. It wants to hide in the rocks. No, absolutely can't let it. No, it's not a Barracuda. It's a GT. GT. I don't know where to take it. From this side. The main thing is not to be washed away. Good. Look what a beautiful GT. Good specimen. Good size. Got it. Got it. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Got it. Whew.
Got it. Ah. Ah. Very strong fish. It accelerated so fast I thought it was a barracuda. Well, it's a GT. Nice. Phew. And these are good news. I have food. Got it. Just barely. That's why I do the striking four times. Its jaw is very strong. It's just like a rock. And to pierce it, you need to exert a lot of force. But this time, I succeeded. Got it. Look what a beauty. That's a fish. That's a monster. These are the emotions, most importantly. Uh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I would like to release this fighter, but I need food. This time, I'll take this fish with me. Well, so I need to find a replacement for my slipper. Do you have any options? Do you have any? I prefer black. Okay. Pink. You got it. Pink. <laughs> this boulder almost knocked me over, but I'm fast, agile. So, I'm not afraid of such things. Look, here are some flip-flops. Flip-flops, flip-flops. They're not stylish this season. It's not fashionable. I don't like it. But we'll take note of it. One pair of flip-flops. Here's the second pair. But this size is definitely not mine. This one's not mine either. But I can fit into it. That would have been a good option. I won't leave my slipper here. I'm taking it with me. I always take all the trash with me. So, therefore, 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 so look. Oh, this is better already, because flip-flops are just not my style. But here's a gray one. Damn, it would have been perfect if it were just a little bit bigger by two sizes. Well, it's better than nothing already. Looks like I'll be walking around the islands, picking out my style. I don't want to waste time. Before the sun sets, I need to clean my catch. All right, stones, don't fall on me anymore. That was ugly, not nice. Okay. The slipper will do. It's a bit small, but it'll do. Better than flip-flops. Well, friends, luck was on my side today. Let's go back to camp. We'll prepare the catch. So, friends, let's go see how the trap is doing. Before the sun sets, I want to check it. 
So, is nobody here? Well, nobody's here for now. Let it stand. Maybe the crabs will crawl in at night. I was very pleased that I managed to catch the catch. And such a big one too. This food will last me a long time. But first, it needs to be cleaned thoroughly. For this, I use my Swiss Army knife. To prevent the fish from spoiling. First, remove all the insides, gills, and drain as much blood from the fish as possible. Then the fish can last the longest without a refrigerator. For such a big fish to cook over the fire, it will need to be cut in half. Hey friends, check this out. Do I have nice lips? Girls should like it. They love doing that. Went under the bush, brushed off a couple of ants from the leaves. One bit me on the beard, and the other on my lip. Now my lips are swollen like this. Beautiful, right? It keeps swelling more and more. Wow! Heavy fish. Let the sharks finish it off. How's my lip, friends? Seems like it's getting bigger. It's getting in the way already. The sun has set behind the horizon, and a very big and bright moon appeared in the sky. Today was a full moon. Due to the strong magnetic attraction during a full moon, the phases of ebb and flow are at their maximum the difference in water levels can reach several meters. Clean the fish. This is for those people who ask me if it's easy to shoot video on a desert island. Every time I come home it takes me a few more weeks to recover my body. To cook the fish, I need to make a fire. So, I went to gather dry wood and grass. First of all, I'll start the fire. 
For this, I use a steel plate, a mineral found on the rocks. As a tinder, I'll use a tinder fungus from a tree. To make it catch fire faster, I use coconut husk and dry grass. Let's try it. Need to find a sharp angle of a stone so that it gives a good spark. This one looks good. Let's try. Now I take a piece of tinder fungus and put it on top. Now, I need to strike a spark to catch on it. A spark appeared. Now we put the spark into the coconut husk. Now we blow on it. And this needs to be placed in this grass nest. And now, with the help of this grass, I ignite the fire. The fish is big, so I'll need a big fire. Or rather, I'll need a lot of coals. To properly roast and smoke the big fish, I remind my friends that thanks to your likes, I received additional missions. And the more of these likes there were, the more difficult and interesting the additional mission was. So support this video. And we'll leave the following missions for the new season. The fish is big, so it won't fry quickly either. I decided to start frying it right on open fire. The skin of the GT fish is very tough. I've already fried a big GT fish once right on the open coals on open fire. Almost the same. Just put the fish on top. And people wrote to me in the comments, oops, I burned the fish. It all burned. Wow. But it's better to see on the couches, right? Yeah. And people were wrong. The fish was perfectly cooked. The skin took all the heat. And the meat was perfectly cooked. It was juicy, fatty, and not a single part was burnt anywhere. And it wasn't dry either. So I think as long as we have fire, we can start cooking the fish now. Put it on top, and then I'll keep flipping it. And maintain the temperature. Right now it seems like a big fire, but it'll burn out quickly and then the fish will just be languishing on the coals. Let the fire, the bottom part there, where the crust is, where it needs to be browned, it will burn out. I'm just flipping the meat in that direction and the heat won't be so intense and everything will be fine. Everything will be as it should be. Great. Oh good. Put a little on the side of the head, some coals.
Oops. Oops. Beautiful. Just what we need. Perfectly. Everything is going perfectly for us. Quietly, quietly, quietly. Where are you going? Oops. Mmm. Fins, the most delicious meat. Mmm. Very juicy. Well, I think the fish is ready. Oh, how good. How good. How beautiful. Just what we need. Look, friends. This one and this one probably got smoked with bamboo. There's a bit of black ash. But it didn't burn. The fish is ready. Let's eat. This, let it probably stay here. And part of this I'll eat. This fish will last me all day tomorrow for sure. The fish weighs about 5 kilograms. I'll probably eat about 700, 500 grams at most. This piece of meat, just a piece of meat. Wow, 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 wow. Damn, it's so fatty. Hmm, mm, Finn. It's very tasty. The crust here is tasty, but my favorite part is near the ribs, the belly. Hmm. Mmm. Juicy fish. Incredibly tasty. Very tasty. Ooh. Oh, the fish is falling apart into slices. Look, it separates on its own. Mmm. Mmm, damn, it's so tasty. Mmm. Well, friends, today was a very productive day. I'm honestly satisfied with the result. And I managed to catch some great fish, and most importantly, to catch enough food. This food will last me for tomorrow as well. The main thing is for it not to spoil from the warm temperature. But if the fish lies on the smoke, it will smoke well. It will definitely lie for a day without any problems. The fish is very tasty and big, but I'm almost full. I'll eat a couple more pieces and then go to sleep. And I'll leave this one on the smoke. When it cools down a bit, I'll pack it up, hide it so flies don't sit on it. If you like this episode, let's try to get 20,000 likes under this video. For you, it's just two seconds and one click. But for me, it's a big help. What a day, friends. What a day. What a fishing trip. What a catch. What food. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Today was a really great day. Despite the fact that I'm incredibly tired, I'm just unrealistically tired, and I was bitten by billions of mosquitoes and sand flies. There's not a spot left on my legs, but all of this is quickly forgotten after such a bite. And when this fish is cooked on the fire and you've eaten your fill, it's definitely cool. 
I've packed the rest of the fish, friends. There's a lot of meat there. It's been smoked on the smoke, so there's no need to worry about food tomorrow. I have a serious supply. Thank you for your attention. Good night and see you tomorrow.